Hey, Dr. Brett here. I'm gonna give you guys eight things today that your posture is actually destroying in your, not just your body, but in your life to some degree. Most people think about the little hunched over lady that walks around like this and how goofy it looks. It does look strange, it's not normal. Um, but that's, to be completely honest, kind of least of your worries. So I'm gonna run through these quick on here. Decreased respiration um, with this increased blood pressure. Both of these things relate to the exact same thing. When, you're, when your torso is flexed, you create less space inside uh, where your rib cage is, which causes your lungs to have to work harder to get a deep breath, and therefore you get less oxygen in your body, which causes more inflammation. Secondly on there is the blood pressure piece. Same thing, you compress the torso, you actually increase the, pl the, the blood pressure your body has to use to get blood to different places there. Your heart can't work as well, it's pretty simple. And that Those two things long term obviously are not good. Set, or thirdly on here is your mood. So you start, start decreasing the quality of your mood at that point. They've actually done studies on this, is that people with poor posture have a really crappy attitude, plain and simple. Um, it actually changes the serotonin levels in your brain, which affects your mood over a period of time. And given a long stretch of time, it becomes something that literally starts to rehardwire your brain in there. So posture does affect your mood. If your parents told you that at some point in time, they're actually correct. Um, digestion, same thing. We talked about this, this compression of the body through here affects how your digestive system works. It's not as efficient through a period of time. And you create more problems with ulcers and, and indigestive problems, reflux, things like that, really common. Um, sleep, here's a huge one as well too. Posture puts a ton of tension, a ton of stress on the nervous system as a whole. So poor posture here literally starts to send stress signals back to the brain, which does not allow the sleep centers of the brain to, to process and activate and, and function in a normal fashion. Therefore, it actually starts to affect your sleep over a period of time. Not in small ways, but it actually affects how well you go to sleep. It affects the quality of your sleep as well too, and it affects the frequency at which you're going in and out of that REM, that deep sleep on there. Uh, it starts to affect your energy, it decreases your energy level. Poor posture, to maintain this, for example, takes a lot more energy for your body to maintain this because it's not balanced at that point. Versus this, it's a lot less energy being consumed by my body to maintain it here. So just surely posture alone will fatigue you over a period of time. Um, next two on here are big for me. Cognitive thinking, cognitive function. Your ability for your brain to process things and think appropriately is drastically affected, same thing, by your posture. Your posture, like we talked about, activates stress centers in your brain which affect a whole lot of other things. Poor posture for a day or two isn't gonna be that big of a deal. Posture that's poor over a long stretch of time starts to affect the deep neurologic things of your brain from not just the thinking, but all these stress centers and all these hormonal things that happen in your body. Lastly on here, this is the biggest thing, in my opinion, I'm gonna put a big triangle on here, it affects your confidence. Um, in my opinion, this affects so many things in people's lives. People with poor confidence don't do well with school. They don't do well with work. They don't do well with themselves as well. We live in a society right now where there's more unhappiness than ever before. Um, and it all goes back to confidence. Self-confidence creates happiness, creates success in a person's life. And bottom line is your posture affects it. Bottom line is too, you can correct your posture, therefore you can improve your confidence just with something simple like that. It's literally hardwired in your body. So understand this, when you're this way, or your kids are this way, yeah, it looks funny, yeah, it's not great, but at the end of the day, it affects a whole lot of junk on here that you either fix it now or you let it continue to progress and progress and progress and it becomes harder and harder over a period of time. And from a chiropractic standpoint, that's what we do. We help the body improve posture in a, in a very simple way and then we help give you things you can work on as well too to make a difference on a consistent everyday basis. Don't let yourself get to the point where it's crisis management mode. Don't let your kids get to a point where it's crisis management mode. Get them in here, get them checked, get yourself checked. It's a simple thing to add to your lifestyle that makes a huge impact, as you can tell, on a whole lot of stuff. Your posture's not something to joke around about. Um, it's a thing to take real serious and get on top of right away. So hope you guys got something out of this. There'll be more stuff to come. Thanks.